Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see programmable logic arrays and their implementation. Programmable logic array will be called as PLA. As you see in the figure here, it will be having series of AND gates. We call it as AND array. And output will be taken from the series of R gates. We call it as R array. There will be an connection between AND array and R array. We need to fuse and defuse to make the connection and break the connection. So in the figure you can see there are n input lines means it refers to n variables. If you have a three variable expression to be implemented n will be three and m output lines means if you have two expressions to be implemented m is two here and k word lines are the connections in between and and r arrays. So if you look at the complex structure of this and R implementation, it will be look like this. Here the dotted representations are the fusing of and and R arrays. Horizontally we will be having and gates and vertical connections will be for R gates. Let us see in detail by taking an example. Here we have F0, F1, F2, F3 functions. So these F0, F1, F2, F3 are representing sum of product expressions. So summation m representing the min term values. So let us implement this using PLE. See here I have taken ABC and also A bar, B bar, C bar generated by using NOT gates. So once A, A bar, B, B bar, C, C bar are available, we can implement A bar, B bar using one AND gate. Similarly, we can implement A into C bar using one more AND gate. So by taking the output of these two, we need to connect to an R gate so that we are going to get the function F0. Similarly for F1, F2, F3. So in the PLA, we will be having an AND gate structure like this and three inputs will be considered as ABC and generating A bar, B bar, C bar using NOT gates, we can connect these AND gate with A, B, C and their complement variables. So we are going to get the output of AND gates like this. These are products and the sum of those will be taken from R gates general. So this represents an AND array. This represents R array. So if we write the table for this PLA by taking the product terms like this, out of these four functions, let me take each and every products. So here in the F0 we will be having A bar B bar and then A into C bar and then B and then A bar B bar again I have already written here B into C bar and then B then AC. These are the product terms we have. For these product terms if you write the combination of inputs A bar B bar in the sense we take A as 0 B as 0 there is no C term here. Similarly for A into C bar a is 1, C is 0. There is no B here. Similarly for B, B is equal to 1. B into C bar, 1 and 0. There is no A here. Similarly AC, A is 1, C is 1. Now for these input combinations, if we write the outputs, here A bar, B bar is associated with F0. So I am writing 1 at F0. And F2 will also be having A bar, B bar. So I am writing 1 product term A bar B bar is not there in F1. So I am writing it as 0. In the similar way I have written F0, F1, F2. You can, we can use this table to implement using PL. So let me take one more example. Here F1, F2, F3 are the functions. So here again the products are A bar BD. I have taken A bar BD. Similarly A BD, A B bar C bar, B bar C, C BD. These are the different product terms. So for this, the input values if I take, A bar BD will be obtained by using B is equal to 1, D is equal to 1. There is no C here and 0. So this A bar BD is available in the function F1 and F2. There is no A bar BD in F3. So I am writing 1, 1, 0. And similarly, A BD will be 1, 1, dash 1, it is there in F1 and F3. So similarly you need to write 
all f1 f2 f3 values like this now if you look at the and array this this box indicating and array the next box indicating r array so we will be having a a bar b b bar c c bar d d bar this is a these are four variable functions so here what i am doing the first line indicating a bar b d so a bar b d corresponds to f1 f2 so i am taking here the r function up to this the first blue box indicating and array second blue box indicating r array so wherever we have marked with the dot here that corresponds to a bar b and d is connected to and gate one and gate so that and gate output is a bar b d so with a single line like this if you are going to mark the connections that means it is connected to one and gate similarly the second line representing a b and that is d a b d corresponds to a into b into d so likewise we will be having six products here so those six products will be taken as output of and array here there is no and gate shown but vertically if you are going to connect with these dots we call it as fuses we are going to get and gate outputs by taking these products again vertically we are taking f1 f2 f3 these are representing r gate outputs so here in the first function you can see there are four product terms a bar bd a bd a b bar c bar b bar c so a b d that is the first function a bar b d second function is a b d third function is a b bar c bar fourth function is b bar c so we need to show four connections here these are the four fuses that gives f1 again we are not writing the r gate here but vertically if you are going to take like this it means r gate connection since it is a r array that is f1 similarly for f2 function we have c and a bar b d that is logical r in between these two so we have these two connections similarly for f3 so we are going to get three outputs f1 f2 f3 these three corresponds to these three functions this is the implementation of these three functions using and array then r array that will be the implementation of these functions in pla so we say this pla is programmable if you want to implement the other function we can also implement that in the same way we can program the pla however we want thank you